Okay, this is uh, one of the harder subjects we go over, and it's Ohm's Law. I have enough problems trying to teach this material when we are actually in person. So virtual, it's going to be kind of a struggle, so we're going to be breaking these videos down into several portions. We went over Watt's Law, and we're going to use the Ohm's Law wheel, which is very, very similar to the Watt's Law. I and R. So in Ohm's law, E is going to equal voltage. The I is the current or the amperage. And R is for this one resistance or ohms and it is also the fancy horseshoe shaped omega symbol okay so we have this here Just like when we're using Watt's Law for the wheel, if I'm trying to find the voltage, the easiest thing to do is just cover the one I'm trying to find. So if I'm trying to find voltage, it's going to be I times R. I'm trying to find the current, it's going to be E divided by R. If I'm trying to find the resistance, it's I divided by E. So we'll go over some problems on the board here. And for your homework, which is going to be based on this lecture, it's just going to be some problems and some work problems. So I'll put this here up in the corner. So if I have a voltage of 120 volts, which is standard in residential wiring, and it is drawing 10 amps, the circuit. I know two of the three things, I, I could find the third. So on here, I know E, I know I, so I'm trying to find R. So if I'm trying to find R, it is E divided by I, so the resistance would be 12 volts, because 120 divided by 10 is going to be 12. I stick with the voltage of 120 and now if I go to the resistance and I use the resistance as 12 now I'm trying to find I so 120 divided by 12 is going to be 10 and then finally the easy I am trying to find the voltage. It is going to be the amperage times the resistance, I times R. So let's pick this as 5, 5 amps. The resistance is 10 ohms. 5 times 10, the voltage is going to be 50 volts. We're going to get more much uh, in depth with this because for like Watt's Law with the wheel, that's pretty much it. But we're actually going to get into some of the electronic circuits. And then we're going to learn the difference between series and parallel. What happens to the voltages in series circuits and parallel circuits. Uh, what happens to the current that's really really important when we're talking series and parallel but I don't want to get too far into that now right now we're just going to start with the basics 
and we will next week build on that when we actually start seeing how a circuit is drawn with resistors in. As uh, just doing homes residential work, we really don't get into a lot of resistance, but when we start doing motors, uh, electric motors, we're going to be dealing with uh, some resistance circuits, uh, capacitors in the motors. We're going to get more in depth with that, but right now we're just concerned with the basics and knowing how to use the Ohm's Law wheel and how to find uh, some basic problems just using the wheel and you're actually going to create some problems of your own as part of your homework assignment.